ever wondered that what's really happening inside your excel formula hello friends in this video i'll be showing you how to use the evaluate formula technique which helps you to see the each step in action so let us start with the practical part now in continuation with our previous video where i talked about the formula auditing so in the formula auditing we had seen the various concepts like trace precedence trace dependence remove arrows so formulas so if you have not seen this video then i'm putting the link on the top of this video please check out this video and you can also continue with this video so let us start with the evaluate formula technique so here in the evaluate formula sheet i'm starting with a very simple example so we are having here some values that is 10 20 and 15 now here i have put up the formula so let us first of all see the formula so it is written here equal to if bracket sum now so i want to sum these two values that is b4 and b5 that is 10 and 20 so it will be 30 and i compare this summation with b6 so if the summation is greater than b6 cell that is this 15 then it should show you over and if it is not greater than b6 then it should show you here under so in our example we are having 10 plus 20 that is 30 and 30 is greater than 15 so here the answer should come over so if i press enter so here i'm getting the answer over now this is a simple formula but suppose if you are having a very complex formula and then how this excel is evaluating that formula that we can see over here but first of all let us start with this example so if you want to evaluate this formula that how excel is doing those calculations step by step then you have to select that cell where that formula is written so i select this cell that is d4 and then i click this button here known as evaluate formula so here it says evaluate formula debug a complex formula evaluating each part of the formula individually stepping through the formula part by part can help you verify its calculating correctly so i click on this button evaluate formula and now here this dialog box comes up so here it is showing you the formula and now it is showing you that okay which part is calculated first so here it is written that uh, the sum is done first it is in this bracket then if i click on this button evaluate i click on this button evaluate so now this summation part that is 10 plus 20 will become 30 now it will compare with it will put here the b6 what is b6 b6 6 15 so here the line is created i click on evaluate formula now it will evaluate whether 30 is greater than 15 if i click on again evaluate formula the answer is true if it is true then it will show you here what over so i click on evaluate formula again and then it will show me here finally the answer over and this is what we see here so this is how we can use this evaluate formula so if i want to restart i can click on the restart or i can simply click on close option so this is one of the simple example of using the evaluate formula technique now i'll go down here you must have heard about the board mass principle yeah when i was in school i learned this board mass principle so what is this board mass principle board mass stands for brackets orders division or multiplication addition and their subtraction so whenever we are having a very long formula where we are having bracket multiplication division subtraction if i want to evaluate that formula okay where should i start calculating the formula so here i'm having one example where this is the formula six plus bracket three multiplied by four this is multiplication then this symbol it is used for square so this is three multiplied by four and it's square then slash is divide as you know then slash six minus five now i want to calculate here or i want to evaluate this formula that how i can start so here the answer is already written 25 if i double click this cell that is d26 then here the same formula is written if i press enter the answer is coming 25 now i want to know that how excel has calculated this 25 i'll select this cell that is d26 i go to this evaluate formula and now here i'm having the same dialog box so see first of all it is evaluating what the multiplication so here 3 by 4 okay if i click on evaluate so 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 i click again on evaluate formula so now the 12 will be squared with square of 12 it is 144 then 144 is divided by 6 so 144 divided by 6 that will give you 24 then 24 is added to 6 that will come to 30 and then 30 minus 5 that will give you the answer 25 so this is how we can evaluate this particular formula which is written in the cell d26 in the board mass it will go with this particular sequence first of all it will evaluate the bracket then order order can be let's say if you are having a square 
or if you are having some percentage uh, calculation then that will be taken at the second position then division or multiplication you can go for anything then comes addition and then comes subtraction now the board mass principle that i learned in my school similarly we are also having another principle which is mostly used in i think so us and canada if i'm not wrong that is known as pemdas so pemdas and board mass are exactly same what is pemdas pemdas stands for p that is parenthesis e is component m is multiplication d is division a is addition and s is subtraction so here it says that board mass is similar to pemdas just the names are different so here in board mass b stands for bracket in pemdas the same bracket it is known as parenthesis and in the board mass we are having o which stands for orders in case of pemdas it is known as exponent that is e so that's only difference so if you want to evaluate the formula with the help of the board mass principle or pemdas principle then definitely you can use this evaluate formula this is what i wanted to show you in this particular video now in the next video we'll be going for a concept known as data validation whenever you are entering the data in the spreadsheet yeah you want that the data has to be entered correctly but many times we have seen that the data are having lot of errors so if you want to be very strict that okay if i write down here let's say first name then in the first name i should have only the text then we have to create some kind of rule so in the next video we'll be talking about the various rules that we can create in data validation so it's a very very important topic so see you in the next video thank you very much